Hi everyone, it's uh, Sunday afternoon and it's Annie with um, my uh, Martha May um, and she's the Cassandra sculpt by Melody Hess and she's looking lovely in her little sleeper that says, uh, it's got little bunnies on the front, it says I love mummy she's perfect, well that is uh, a question isn't it? <laughs> I don't think I'm perfect but anyway I thought I'd show her um, I'm not sure yet, but I think she might, I think I might um, re-adopt Martha out. I'm not sure, because I just find it really hard to bond with her. Um, and I don't know why, because she's beautifully done. She's got the most softest vinyl I've ever felt. Um, really, really soft. And she is a limited edition kit as well. Um, she was reborn, I bought the kit um, a while ago actually. And she was recently reborn for me by Amanda Williams in the UK, and she's done an amazing job, considering that a couple of artists said they wouldn't um, touch her because her vinyl was quite dark. But Amanda has done such a wonderful job, and her hair is the most amazing Delta Dawn mohair. Um, yeah, so I don't know. So I've been trying to this weekend. I've been trying to bond with her, like put her in other clothes and things like that. But I'm, I don't know what it is. I'm not sure. She's She's so lovely, but I don't know, and I really would like her to go how Alice went, really, is that someone really likes her and, you know, approaches me for her. So, um, if I do sell her, she will be £300, um, British pounds, to, um, that includes post and packing, to the UK. If anyone wants to purchase her from abroad, um, anywhere in the world, then she'd be three hundred and fifty um, British pounds because obviously it's about a hundred pounds for the postage um, to be sent. Um, yeah. So anyway, if if anybody's interested, please let me know. But I'm not sure yet. It depends, you know, what comes along. What comes along, really. So I thought I'd do um, a little haul video. We've had awful problems. I'm so sorry, guys. I've done this haul video three times. This is the fourth time now I've tried to do it. Um, I'm not going to show everything I did in the original one because I've packed it all away, ready for the giveaway. Um, there are some things in there for the giveaway, and some of these things may be for the giveaway as well. I'm not going to let you know because obviously I don't know who the winner is. It might be a girl or a boy or or whatever. So. Um, so this is this is sort of and some of the things I will definitely be keeping because my mum bought them for me and um, you know I, I wouldn't get rid of stuff my mum got for me but um, anyway so here goes the first thing I got was I was in there I went to get my prescription last week and I saw this in the chat I had to wait 10 minutes for the prescription so I went next door to the charity shop and I bought this lovely lovely um, giraffe I'm not sure what I'm going to call him yet, but he's absolutely gorgeous and um, he has been all sprayed with disinfectant spray now and he smells gorgeous, he's, um, he's uh, all nice and clean and dry so there we go and then um, the next little thing I've got is this little romper which is a mama's and papa's romper I hope you can see that, I might just move Martha a little bit actually oh my darling, just move you a little bit over there so we can get these in so yeah, so this is a cotton, um, soft cotton rom romper, this little bow on the top, so that's mum's and papa's, it's absolutely beautiful, got all the lovely flowers all over it. And then the next thing is, um, this is from Mother Care, and it's celebrating 150 years of um, Peter Rabbit. So the first thing i got um, is this little sleeper, um, and it's absolutely gorgeous, it's cream, and it has Peter Rabbit on it, and... Um, flowers um, and a little Peter Pan collar so that's absolutely beautiful and it buttons down the back no buttons at the front and it's got a little pocket as well detail on it as well so it's really cute and it comes with a little hat as well although I think the hat is going to be miles too big so I don't know I might if I keep this I might put a little bit of elastic in the back just to to make it a bit smaller and then um, this is a bit of a story. This again is the 150 years um, of celebration for Peter Pan, uh, Peter Pan, sorry, Peter Rabbit. And um, I really, really, I went in to get this rom because I really, really loved it. 
but they didn't have any it's for Matthew who's three to six months size really I can get away with some not to three but if I'm buying anything for his bottom half it needs to be three to six and um, the only sizes they had left was tiny baby and newborn size but the mannequin had this size on three to six months and the manager I asked the manager with her and she said no to start with but um, she said I can order one online so we went to that sort of process none available whatsoever online so she succumbed in the end and she said I could buy the one off the mannequin so I'm really pleased about that so I did get one in the end and then this little romper my mum bought me last year and I've I had it packed away because obviously she got it at the end of the summer so um, I haven't had a chance to put it on the babies yet and it's a Winnie the Pooh um, and it's got lovely days with poo and the little butterfly is like a 3D butterfly <laughs> as you can see that it's really cute so it's like polka dots, different colours polka dots um, little angel sleeves, cap sleeves and then uh, this one is also a present from my mum now um, you might have seen this one last year I'm not sure because I've had it um, as I said packed away again it comes a little like a onesie underneath and again it's a little romper and this came from Boots Mini Club and it's absolutely gorgeous like very thin pinstripes pink with a little lace detail on it little pockets on the front and uh, pin tuck pleats little buttons and lace down the front and little bows on the on the top of the um, straps and it's absolutely gorgeous and she had she bought one for her baby and I loved it so much she said and then the following week she surprised me with that so good old mum bless her <laughs> and then um, this one again is another um, this is from my favourite shop actually John Lewis and it's just a really plain little romper cotton a soft cotton romper um, with little um, sort of trim detail and flowers but it's so pretty and I thought it was so, so, so simple but so pretty really so we got that and I'll move this slot now because she's getting a bit too many clothes on her there and then these um, next two outfits are from eBay and they're my bargains from eBay um, this one I'm so pleased with this it comes with a little hood and it's quite light it's a little light jacket really for the summer and it's got a giraffe on the front embroidered giraffe on the front and little flowers and a bird on that side you can see that it's absolutely beautiful and underneath it's um, a little romper it's not from Nutmeg by the way and it's it's tiny Ted 0-3 to three months um, and it's got a giraffe on there and a little elephant on the other side now I bought this for £3 guys and on the description it said new without tags but when it came it was actually with the tags on it so it's actually brand new so I got it for £3 I'm so pleased with it it's absolutely gorgeous so I'll put that one of the girls soon and then this again is from eBay, <laughs> eBay bargain and um, that was bought quite a while ago as well and it's um, an Emile Rose romper and it has a knitted top part with little buttons, a little um, flower detail on the Peter Pan collar which is velour and the bottom half is a velour as well um, and that is absolutely beautiful and I got that for £5 and it is like new condition I, I'm not sure if it, it didn't come with labels but it, um, it doesn't look like it's ever been worn it's absolutely gorgeous so I'm really really chuffed to bits with that I really love it so I can't wait to put the babies in all those um, we got this little teddy bear he's uh, sorry elephant from pumpkin patch and he'll probably be going in the giveaway actually but he's a pumpkin patch and he's brand new obviously because I got him um, in their sale when they had their sale on <laughs> um, now let me just sort this out what have we got here come to the pumpkin patch stuff in a minute so the other um, things that I've got are let's see we've got this little um, little romper and it's like white soft cotton again with a lace detail and that's pumpkin patch again newborn size and lace little bits on the back so we've got that little romper this is all for the summer really and we've got, um, uh, where are we? And we've got this little t-shirt, which is absolutely gorgeous. So that's, this is like a um, cotton t-shirt with a little seal on top of a ball and a bird. 
and I thought these little trousers would match uh, little leggings or uh, little shorts would match trousers and they're again from the pumpkin patch range so they're new and this little shirt we got which is newborn again it has a lovely velour collar with little um, flowers on the detail and a bow and little cuffs again it's a really soft brush cotton that one it's really pretty yeah. and this oh this is beautiful this little romper it's absolutely gorgeous it's fully lined and it has these little um, crocheted flowers on it, embellished on them and it's a little romper with little um, gathered cuffs and poppers at the bottom and that's the back, it's absolutely lovely and because it's lined it's really puffy and it's lovely so it's going to look really cute I think on um, and then we bought this t-shirt with a cat on the front, perfect princess it says on the front there that's probably going to go for my, I'll keep that for my little um, girl that's coming in the summer. Oh, it's new, newborn, it says, but it's quite big actually. I think that's been miles too big for my newborns. But um, yeah, so we've got that little t shirt. And we've got these lovely little trousers. <laughs> that actually um, matches the shirt there because the bow's the same, I just noticed. Look, the bow's nearly enough the same. But I got those little trousers that are actually the same uh, uh, pattern as the romper was. Um, but I thought they'd look really cute in the summer, these little puffy pants with little um, cuffs at the bottom, um, gathered cuffs. And then the, um, so that's all the, that's all the pumpkin patch. And then this stuff came, the next lot of stuff came from, um, this is a Dulce's range, um, which is a lovely, lovely range. This is beautiful. Oh, I forgot to say, that, that velour romper, the millet romper, by the way, that I got from eBay, it came with this little bunny. <laughs> they came together for a fiver, so I'm really pleased with that. Anyway, sorry, I forgot to say about that. Oh, I want a bunny back. There you go, darling. A bunny back. And this little um, little outfit, oh, was beautiful. It comes with a little um, cotton uh, top overlay to a little onesie underneath, a little embroidered detail with a frill collar. And it's like I said, got a cotton romper underneath. It's absolutely beautiful, and that's the back. So it's got like an open back to it. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. And I got this little top as well from the same company. This is Dulcis as well, and this is little blouse. Um, so you need something underneath that because it's very very sheer cotton, very very sheer cotton. So you'd have to have something underneath, and it's open at the back as well. Um, that was actually beautiful. Really love that. Very, very pretty. And the last thing I've got is a little romper from uh, the same company, Dulcis again. Um, and it's it's newborn. No, it's not. It's up to one month size. This is not to one month, but it's very small. Um, if ever you buy Dulcis, I think you you get the bigger size. It will fit my newborns. But it won't go on my bigger girls. It won't go on my bigger girl. But it's absolutely gorgeous. Little ruffle collar and soft cotton with like a little girl pattern. It's like an old-fashioned. I forget the name of the pattern, but it's absolutely beautiful. So that's my favourite. I think out of the whole lot. But anyway, so that's my haul. Um, and as I said, I had awful problems uh, with my computer. I did um, an uploading videos. I tried to upload the. Um, the whole video of the day which was 14 minutes and something long I know it's one of my longer videos, I don't usually do really long videos um, but it took over 24 hours and it still hadn't uploaded so I gave up so yesterday um, we were having problems with the internet service anyway in the whole household we couldn't watch Netflix, it was going off and on and I gave up, gave up with it in the end so we rang out a supplier and we're going to upgrade to um, fiber optics tomorrow I think it's gonna cost us a little bit more per month for, for, to, for the whole that but I think it's gonna be a lot better for the household and also I spent an age on the phone to um, Apple um, Apple support because I've got a, a Mac so what I do with my videos I um, record them on my phone um, in HD my HD phone on an SD card slot the SD card into my Mac and that and then um, I upload a video from my photos it goes to my photos 
but by doing that the photo uh, sorry the video size is massive it's over one gigabyte or something so that's why it's taking so long so the guy that I spoke to is really really helpful really nice guy said to me the best thing to do is convert the file into an mp4 file so I found a program free you can download and I did that last night so the last video and this video that I've done um, I mean, the, the last one I've done of um, Changing Katie was one, again, that I tried to upload and couldn't do. Um, that was taking over, again, 20, like, hours and hours. It took 30 minutes to upload, so I was really pleased last night. Although I don't think the quality is good. Um, but this one, again, will be done the same way. So it's over 15 minutes now, but it'll be done the same way. So... Um, uh, I appreciate this is a really long video now so I want to say thank you to Kimberly at uh, Kimberly's uh, Cocoon because I sent her a private message to say please can you help me what should I do and she came back really promptly I looked in the wrong box Kimberly when where the message came back to so apologies for that but um, I got your message and it was, it was so helpful I went on and made sure that um, I up, sort of changed my um, you putators to take over 15 minute videos which this is now over 15 minutes, now 16 minutes. Um, but anyway, enough of me ranting on, and that's why I've not been around for a couple of days, and that's why you didn't see the whole video on Friday or Saturday. So apologies for that. But um, I hope you have had a lovely weekend. It's Sunday afternoon, and um, I'm going to go in my shed now and do a little bit of sewing, I think. Um, that's about it. So lots of love to you all. Um, blessings, and hope you have a lovely week. I'll see you. Um, in a couple of days with another video and again if anybody wants to talk to me about um, Martha May then just uh, let me know PM me or message me and and let me know um, what you you know want to know really anyway love and, and God bless to everyone take care bye